This is my new DJ desk. I just completed building it this morning. And it's made from steel and a New Zealand native wood called Rimu. And it's made to only fit the Denon DJ Prime 4, which is a little bit dusty because uh, it's been sitting in my workshop while I've been building it. Um, so let's take a little tour. There's a cutout in the front section so you can plug your headphones in and mess with all the, tool, um, all the switches and knobs and such. Um, it's got a removable friction fit uh, section here, so I can, oh, actually, uh, it's got a slot for the power, so you can turn it off and on. It's got some holes inset, so you can uh, run cables from underneath, um, up the top if you want to have desktop speakers, which I, which I do. So anyway, let's take it off. Uh -huh. And now we've got access to the back, kind of plug things in, and more dust. <laughs> It's also got a four-way power board uh, plugged in, uh, attached there with its lead. Uh, traveling down this little channel I cut out. That channel uh, comes down the column. You see, um, the cable come come out here if it was um, longer, so I have to get an extension cord, I guess. So yeah, that's it. Uh, pretty pretty pleased with it. It's um it's really heavy, like you can't move it around. You're not gonna take it to a gig with you. Um that's probably because it's made of like you know, the steel up here is 10 mil thick and there's a similar size plate underneath this this plate um underneath the base, which um makes it just it's just it's just too damn heavy, but you can always shelter under it um in case of an earthquake, I guess. 